Oh yes, my name is uh, Melad Milo aka Fula and uh, this is uh, the Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It is a Saturday and uh, on a day like this one, I get to compile all the big stories over the week and uh, we get to look at one by one. And uh, I want to shout out to my TikTok family guys. Thank you so much for following me that side. We are growing and becoming a very big family. I really want to thank you so much for hitting that follow button right there on TikTok. Well, the latest update we are getting from uh, Somalia is indicating that we have lost uh, 137 UPDF soldiers uh, right there in Somalia. Uh, yesterday, uh, the African Union Peacekeepers military camp was attacked by Al-Shabaab militants and uh, reports have indicated that 137 UPDF soldiers were put out of action and others were captured as you can see in that picture. That is a UPDF soldier being pushed by a now Shabab militant and uh, this information hasn't been verified by the spokesperson of a UPDF uh, we are still waiting to get an official statement on this matter and I'll be keeping you posted right here on the buzz UG but if it is true that we have lost all these people man that's very very unfortunate that is breaking news otherwise I'll be keeping you posted right here on the buzz UG well, another big story over the week. MC Cuts did trend so big time this week. Of course, uh, reports on social media indicated that uh, MC Cuts affected this girl with HIV AIDS and it was intentional. Yes, he did it intentionally according to the reports on social media. However, MC Cuts through his uh, social media platforms came out and said that Ugandans, we need to stop pointing fingers because that is not going to help in any way. Well, I hear she's been taken to rehab and of course we hope that she comes back doing well and uh, looking better right here that was also another big story over the week right here on the buzz ug well another big story over the week uh, finally the body of a uh, private uh, wilson sabiti was uh, given out to the family in kabarole district uh, we all know that uh, you know the updf had retained this guy's body and uh, they said that they wanted to first do the investigations and i think finally the investigations were done and that the body was given out to the family this week and he was laid to rest in kabarole district uh, that is a uh, kijura village yes so uh, it is good that finally they laid their son right there but uh, there's this guy who trended so big time i'm told he's called joram and uh, he's a member of fdc in fort porto uh, he said that ugandans are hungry and angry and uh, he called upon president museveni's government to do something about the challenges ugandans are facing otherwise things are really really so bad it was a big video on social media i i think most of uh, you know the opposition uh, leaders you know posted about this video uh, let's briefly listen to this guy and I'll be right back shortly. At the end of the day, na haru gamu kufa. Abamu batandikira kuitangana, abamu mbahulire nibe yita, abata kusobara kwe yita ni mazindu kena mamarwa, hakuwa kuwa ihanga, lifokele ya stress. President Museveni and the government yao hona hamuli muhure nduru ya banya Uganda. We are not happy people. We are hungry and angry. Hungry and angry. Ninyona mugaruke mu. Muti Ugandans we are hungry and angry. Hungry and angry. Well, another big story we had this week was the death of uh, Tina Turner, who died in Switzerland at her home at the age of uh, 83 years. It's very unfortunate that we lost a legend, and uh, it is reported that uh, she had uh, kidney problems. Yes, she had kidney problems for a long time, and uh, basically that was uh, the cause of her death. It's very unfortunate, but uh, she has been celebrated so big time by celebrities and uh, world leaders on a different social media platform. Uh, for example, the current president of uh, USA, that is uh, Joe Biden, did post on his social media platforms. And also the former president of America, Barack Obama, also did say something about, uh, you know, uh, Tina Turner. It's very unfortunate that we lost a legend, but of course we pray that uh, her soul continues to rest in peace. 
Well, this week, uh, the spokesperson of uh, Uganda police, that is uh, Mr. Fred Nanga, came out and said that they are hunting for this guy who appeared in a video saying that uh, he killed Jaja Ichuli. I think the person who sent him to do the job uh, did not pay him. You know, that is why he appeared on social media uh, indicating that he's demanding for his money and if he's not paid as soon as possible, he's going to unmask himself and also reveal the person who, you know, uh, who sent him to do the job. Yeah, so that was another big story of the week and, uh, you know, the spokesperson of uh, Uganda police, Mr. Fred Nanga, said that they're hunting for him and uh, very soon he will be apprehended and he will tell us more about that matter right there. Well, finally, uh, this week there was also another shooting in Kassanda. Yes, there was another shooting in Kassanda. Uh, a police officer shot himself dead. And uh, this was after attempting to kill his boss. And I think he thought he had killed him. And, uh, you know, he entered his room and uh, shot himself dead. I don't know what is happening with these guys carrying guns. But that was also another big story over the week. And before that shooting, by the way, we had had another shooting in Kasese district. Actually, Kasese municipality. Yes, we had had another shooting right there. A female security guard had shot a colleague right there. Uh, we don't know why, but uh, the victim was rushed to hospital for treatment and uh, the suspect was immediately apprehended. Yes, so that was also another big story of the week right here. Otherwise, those are some of the big stories that did make headlines this week. I don't know what you have to say about some of these stories, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And if I have forgotten any big story, the comment section is very open. We can remind each other about those big stories that did make headlines this week. Otherwise, thank you so much for subscribing. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Mel. Milo, aka Fula. I cannot forget to shout out to my TikTok family. Guys, thank you so much for following me that side of TikTok. I really appreciate. We are growing and becoming a very big family. It is a bye for now. Thank you.